Thank you for joining my lecture. Today, I talk about China and Taiwan. The civil war between the Chinese Communist Party and the Kuomintang Party had continued even the post World War II. The leader of the Chinese Communist Party that won the civil war, Mao Zedong, declared the establishment of the People's Republic of China in 1948. The leader of the Kuomintang Party that lost the civil war, Chiang Kai shek, escaped from mainland China to Taiwan. After that, He established the Republic of China in Taiwan in 1950. China, Taiwan. Both sides have insisted on the legitimate China. The United States, the United Kingdom, and Japan had recognized Taiwan as legitimate China for fear that the socialist China would expand. But the world couldn't ignore huge China. Western nations began to recognize the People's Republic of China instead of Taiwan back to back. The representation right of China in the United Nations replaced from Taiwan to the People's Republic of China in 1971. The President of the United States, Nixon, visited China and met with Mao Zedong. After that, the United States entered into diplomatic relations with the People's Republic of China in 1979 under the Qatar administration. Japan followed behind the United States. The Prime Minister of Japan, Tanaka Kakue, visited China. Japan entered into diplomatic relations with the People's Republic of China in 1972. The People's Republic of China took part in the Summer Olympic Games for the first time in Los Angeles in 1984. Li Tenfui, who isn't from mainland China but Taiwan and had been educated at Kyoto University before the end of World War II, was inaugurated the leader of the ruling Kuomintang Party. The Democratic Progressive Party, that intended to be independent of China, came into power instead of the Kuomintang Party in Taiwan. China, Taiwan. China is wary of the independence movement of Taiwan all the time. China threatens Taiwan militarily when the independence movement arises in Taiwan. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel to maintain these educational activities. I'm looking forward to seeing you again.